So it's time to spring clean the shop before the next print job. Let's do it. As you can see, it's really handy to be able to move everything around. I've put everything on casters, so when you're in a small space like I am, single car garage, try and put things on casters if you can. My temperature and humidity checker 15 degrees Celsius at the moment and 69% humidity. I've not been working in here today. Water based palette adhesive, don't use the spray, don't like how it spreads everywhere. That's a misprint that'll get used again as a test shirt. Let's get this in clean. Try and get this really clean to try eliminate any pinholes in your new screens. Was a white floor a bad choice? We'll see. How's it looking? Some progress. Got more to do. Strictly outdoor shoe free zone now. Slippers only. So let me know what you think. Let's have a look. So we've got the Riley Hopkins Junior Press 4x4. I've only got it set up with one station at the moment. It's set up with the platen for the sleeve and neck print. I've got still in place my flattening screen which I use between print flash print. We've got the exhaust down there going out under the garage door for the tunnel dryer, which is an Econo Red 230, 30 inch wide belt. Dwell time is about a minute and a half at its slowest. Nice and tidy and clean on top. Um, I've got BBC used flash dryer, which I bought for about 240 pounds. It's still going strong, love that live without that all the electrics and so on this is my trolley for shirts usually for when i'm pulling them onto the press we've got a rolling table which i made just really just for storage underneath for blank shirts new shirts um, and this is where i obviously do all the exposure so Riley Hopkins silver press for 20 by 24 inch screens. Blacked out window, of course, for when I'm coating screens. Small bucket for catching. Some hoodies and sweatshirts ready to be printed. Tunes, of course, the old Denon 1910. That's approaching 10, 15 years old now, but still going strong with the Kef eggs in the corner. TV. Rarely gets used to be honest, because it's quite noisy in here. Uh, this is a screen drying cabinet that I built. I'll just turn the light, the yellow light on so you can have a look in here. So I built this, it holds about, I think it's 19 screens in total. Again, it's on casters, 
which is great for moving around and cleaning in a small space. So this works really well, it dries a screen in maybe 20 minutes, half an hour maybe, worst case scenario. So I've left space at the bottom for a dehumidifier, which is plugged in in the corner. Works a treat. Obviously keeps all the dust off my screens. Um, just close this up. There's five of these going down, so there's definitely no light getting in. There's a little rubber seal running all the way around all four edges as well. Little sink unit, partially cleaned, but definitely better than it was. Karcher, pressure washer there, screen wash here, filter unit below with a sump pump that pumps all of that out through some filters that we've got up there and all my cleaning products up there. So three screens to clean, a couple of hoodies to print, it's not a bad little space, what do you reckon?